So why does it look like Radio Shack threw up all over my bench this weekend? Well, I'll tell you why. So if you haven't heard of Kieran Ascom's Sam X4 project, he's developed a CPLD based SAM replacement for all those computers that use the SAM, like the Dragon and the Coco. And this weekend, I actually got my order in. So it's not quite what he made. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's the same code, it's the same everything. It's just the code is reworked a little bit for my project. Um, but, you know, nothing smart that I did on my part. All I did was remap pins. Uh, I took his project and I modified it to make a board that's just a little bit smaller, which I'll focus over here now so you can see. And what I am going to do now is test this board. And you'll see in this video the several Cocos that I'll be putting this board in to test. And so this is the same design as Karen Ascom's design. The only thing I did was change the PCB around and remapped a couple of pins to make the routing easier. But it's the same exact thing and it works exactly the same way as his. So, uh, Kieran, uh, thank you very much for this. This is going to be great. That's going to be a lot of fun. Great work. Now, I have no room on my bench, so my TV is off to the side on chair. Okay. Got a cocoa one there just laying on the floor in the background. I just got that in this weekend. Oh, no, no, no. That's a 4K cocoa I have that I need to fix. I'm going to be testing uh, this T1 Coco 2 with the Sam X4 replacement. And uh, just so you can see, there's nothing in there now. This is where it goes. Okay. Let's look over here at the screen. I'm going to turn it on and we'll get nothingness. Okay. Let's plug this baby in. Now I got to remember it, uh, it goes in what I call the wrong way. It faces down. So let's see if I can do this. Okay. There it is. Popped right in. So now let's turn it on and look over. And look at that. This is very nice. Just works. Well, it didn't just work. I had issues over the weekend that I sorted out, sorted out obviously, but uh, yeah, it works in here. Okay. And this is using a little SRAM board that I made. Um, is not using DRAM. However, uh, Kieran does have code in there to refresh DRAMs. So I'll test that next. Okay, I've now removed the SRAM board and I've installed a pair of these in there. It's the D41464Cs. The DRAM chips. And there is an error. I think I have a bad chip in there, actually. I've seen this before. But there you go, it worked. One of those chips is funky, I know that. And I think that's why we're seeing the cursors down the right. Uh -huh. Let me see, let me replace that and check. Okay, I've replaced the two DRAMs. So let's turn this guy on. And voila, it looks good. Turns on. Um, yeah, actually, I want to see it load the Coco SDC. So let's plug this guy in. Okay. I think that's, let's turn it on. And it did nothing. It wasn't plugged in all the way. Nice. There it is. I was messing with the bank of test program earlier. Did not work how I wanted it to. Cool. That works. DRAM works. Here I have a 4K Coco 1. And I've replaced the SAM chip, which is, you know, the SN74LS783N with the SAM X4. Now, Kieran was telling me that um, he has some code in there to handle a 4K, um, a 4K situation. However, he's not been able to test it. I'm testing it now, 
and the Coco boots, uh, but the video is wonky. <clears throat> and you know, that is not uh, due to the RF can or a bad connection or anything. Um, that is because of the Samex 4. Now, I am in touch with Kieran and he will be debugging this as best he can and I'll be testing for him. But so far, this is very promising. It's very good. Now I have the Samex 4 board plugged into my 16K Coco 1 and we are seeing a similar sort of distortion with the video, although not as bad. Now, however, that's just there on the uh, green screen. Let's plug in, let me turn this off. Let's plug in Megabug and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Yeah, can't really make out much. Although I can see the drawing, I can see things. It's really, really bad. So Kieran quickly got back to me with some updated code. This is my 16K Coco one. Uh, you can see it has the Sam4X board installed. And then look at that, it's beautiful. Let's uh, play some Megabug. Not play, but just run it. Okay. okay, let's turn this on. Beautiful. Great job. Now I'm off to test my 4K Coco again. All right, now I've switched over to my 4K Coco 1. As you can see, there is the SAM 4X board installed. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pan over so you can see uh, the beautiful display here. And that is what my Coco One is reporting. Very nice, crisp, clean RF video. I love RF. And I love cassette loading. However, I have not been able to load anything via cassette on this Coco One as of yet. So maybe I do need some troubleshooting. I am surprised this Coco One works because I bought it for parts. It was sold as is as parts and it, you know, it was kind of in rough shape. Uh, but it does run. It does turn on. Excellent. I'm very excited. This replacement here is turning out to be very, very good. Thank you, Kieran. So now Kieran has made some more changes and now um, we can actually compile it uh, with all different modes. And here it is in uh, Coco 2 that I have. That's a 16K Coco 2 with just Color Basic. I have Megabug installed. And well, that doesn't look right. But that's not because of the SAM. This one has video issues. There it is. You see the alternate color palette there? Or the alternate artifacting? I gotta do something with uh, the circuit on this, but, but yeah, it works great. This is one of my 64K Coco 2s, uh, vertical can. Um, this has a regular VDG. It, you know, it doesn't have a T1. And I've got the SAM4 or SAMX4 installed. And right now I'm working off the Coco SDC. And as you can see over here, Donut Dilemma is running just fine. Looks great. No issues.